Yeah. Welcome back to another Drag Race GTNZ. Got a few cars lined up for future videos, but today we're going to do this BMW N3. Now, I've only been in a few BMWs in my whole life, but they went all right. They go pretty hard, and yeah, that's the same with this one here, 2003. They look cool, if you ask me, and there's a few BMWs I do like, like um, I really like the M5 or the 750i or the 750i. My bad. Uh, there's a lot of V12 BMWs out there that are real sick as well. And yeah, hopefully in the future they might bring a few of them out into this game. But um, when you look at the power of this one, it's got a bit of a head start on this RX-7. So it's hard to say what's going to happen here. But maybe the weight difference will pull in RX-7's favour. Now I've been in a few RX-7s too. Well, when I say that. I've been in a few rotaries, uh, RX3, RX2, um, RX7 Series 4, 5, um, I've been in a Batman as well, they're just sick cars, I understand the appeal, and every now and then this town I live in has the rotary meet, just floods the whole area with rotaries, I haven't seen a 10 second one pull up for chips the same time I was, but yeah, these RX7s, there to be respected. I've been in a GDR once and got dragged off by an RX-7 and man it was pretty freaky because yeah we got that launch perfectly but being rear wheel drive and the power to the back wheels on that RX-7 and the RX-7 is quite a light car man they can move so obviously we're gonna do what we do get them down to the track. Let's do this! Race is a good race. RX-7 wasn't really dragged off in the dragged off sense. Yeah, it lost, but it was right there. So, how about we line these cars up, get them ready for a rolling start, and see if it can fare any better. That BMW, though, did pretty good.
and that's basically the gist of it. The BMW had a few more things going for it, namely, it had the gears, didn't it? So, gearing plays an important part in any drag race, and the BMW just had more of, basically. But that RX-7 was able to keep up pretty well considering the differences in the cars. But in the end, the BMW just pulled it away. So, another sick race, and let's have a little bit of a sprint. Nice little handbrake to end that race. So, I really enjoyed that race too. You'd be hard pressed deciding which car you'd own out of these two. There's arguments for the BMW, arguments for the RX-7, but you wouldn't be wrong in any choice that you made if you chose either of them. But we got our result today, so I'll keep the drag races coming. Later, Bolt! <laughs>